Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at a second Raoult's Law type problem. And uh, what we've got here is 20 grams of sodium nitrate is going to be dissolved into 500 mils of water. And we want to figure out what the vapor pressure of the solution is going to be at 25 degrees Celsius. Alright, so we're dealing with Raoult's Law, so we're going to have the vapor pressure of the solution is going to be equal to the mole fraction of the solvent, SOLV, times the vapor pressure of pure solvent. And this is water, so my vapor pressure of pure water at 25 degrees is about 23.8 torr. Okay, so I need some mole amounts, so my moles of water, I'm going to abbreviate moles with the letter N, is equal to 500 mils is also 500 grams of water. Divide that by the molar mass of water and that gets me about 27.7 .7 moles of water. Then I've got to get my moles of my sodium nitrate, NaNO3. And let's see, I've got uh, 20 grams of that divided by the molar mass of sodium nitrate is about 80 5 grams per mole, and so my moles of sodium nitrate is 0 0.235 moles. Okay, so we're ready to plug and chug here. My solution vapor pressure then is going to be the moles of the water, 27.7, .7 divided by 27.7 .7 plus 0 0.235. That's a 3, so all of that gives me my mole fraction of solvent times the vapor pressure of pure solvent, 23.8. And that's going to come out to be 23.6 torr. Alright, so there's my answer. But, and this is kind of an important but, I have a mistake here. I did not account for the fact that my solute is sodium nitrate. And sodium nitrate is going to dissociate, right? It's going to break up into its ions when I throw it into water. So my mistake ends up being down here in the calculated moles of sodium nitrate. That is the moles of sodium nitrate, but it's not the moles of solute particles. My actual moles of solute, my moles of solute, that should be a U. My moles of solute is actually 2 times 0 0.235. So I actually have 0 0.47 moles of solute particles. And that's what I care about. Not moles of NaNO3, but moles of stuff that's actually floating around in my solution system. So my correct vapor pressure for my solution will be the 27.7 .7 moles of water divided by the 27.7 .7 moles of water plus the correct moles of solute 0 0.47 multiplied by my vapor pressure of pure water and that's going to come out to be 23.4 torr. So this isn't a huge difference so when we get to other colligative properties like boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, we'll see the fact that the solute like sodium nitrate here can dissociate. That's actually going to create a more noticeable adjustment to the colligative property. So it's not a big deal, deal here with Raoult's law, but it will be a big deal. The fact that I have solutes that are dissociating will become a bigger deal as I look at other colligative properties. All right. We'll pick those up in later videos.